Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the iPhone X. And if you guys like this video, if you find it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it that like. And if you guys like to see other helpful tips and tricks, go ahead and check out that playlist in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to check the ESN or the IMEI for on your device on a device to see if it has been reported lost or stolen so i strongly recommend doing this if you're buying a device especially offline or even meeting somebody off of a used app you know whatever craigslist or anything like that um, i strongly recommend doing this checking your device to making sure or the device you're about to buy to make sure it's still good and you can still activate it and it'll be good to go so what you're going to want to do so let's say if someone if you're buying it offline off somebody you can always ask for their imei number or to see what it is and the way to get it is you go to settings and then if you're buying it in person right up here their iCloud information make sure all that is gone removed from the device or you may have hard time activating it getting it uh, to activate later on so if you are buying uh, buying it off of somebody offline eBay Craigslist whatever anything you can just ask them for the IMEI number and the way to get it is to go to settings once you're in settings go into general once you are in general go to about uh, once you are in about scroll down you will see the IMEI number which is right there um, so if you guys you know just ask the person to whoever's whoever has a device to send that number over to you if they don't know how to do it you can always share a link of this video with them so they could see it so right there the IMEI I'll just go ahead and just check my own device so I'm gonna press and hold long hold gives me the option to copy and once I have that copied, I'm going to go into Safari. I have checked, uh, did a little search for free ESN check. Uh, the first one the, is the one I used. This is the Swappa one. So just go ahead and select it. And at this point, all it's asking you is for your IMEI number. I'm just going to go ahead, long press, get it in there, paste. Once I have that number in there, I'm just going to go ahead and check the ESN. And it's going to run this test, and it's going to tell me if it's been um, reported lost or stolen, if it's able to activate if it's if i'm able to activate it on a line um if it has any other issues there's three tests that this particular site runs uh to let you know what you have so uh, as far as blacklist it's activated as not blacklisted and then activation status is clear sometimes if someone has a device that's not fully paid off or they deactivated it and it's still need it's been locked uh the only way to unlock it is pay off the remaining balance of the device uh that'll pop up there as well and then ting just to see if you can bring it onto a gsm device uh bringing it to ting that's just kind of more of an ad than anything but uh it this one does tell you that is uh not locked and then right down here if you scroll down you could see uh the verizon uh, the verizon device of this one that i have what it sells for uh, the unlocked version sprint at t it just kind of tells you gives you a basic price range so if you're looking to buy a device um, I would shoot for the lower end for this device. I'd you know be looking about eight hundred fifty dollars, nine hundred dollars to pay for if I'm buying it. If you're looking to sell, right right here, thousand two hundred. That's kind of the, the top of the thing. So uh, this device is clear. So this is how to check to see if the device has been reported lost or stolen. If it's on the blacklisted list, on the deactivated list. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're buying devices, especially offline. Stay protected, kind of protect yourself, do this extra step, don't be scared to ask them for the IMEI number. Once again, if they don't know where to find it or if they don't know what it is, go ahead, share the link of this video with them, let them know uh, how to find it. And that's all I got for you guys in this video. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Hope I was able to help some of you out and save a couple bucks for those scammers that are trying to scam uh, people out of their money to get their selling them bricked devices. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.